so. I'm doing a explanatory run of chapter one. I try to explain as many skips, routing issues and tricks as possible. Um, I already missed one. While you are in a cutscene, you can already move if you have your um, direction already pushed. On a gamepad it's this direction. Um, you just have to um, memorize it and while the cutscene is still going and you press skip, you already push in a direction and you will already start to walk before you even can see Alice or your actual in-game. Other than this little trick, there's not much you can do on real world. It's just about how close you can go around edges and very minor little uh, improvements on your walkings, walking lines. But actually, real world is so short and those uh, little improvements are so minor, it's not even worth it talking about it. On the other hand, knowing when you have to press skip for cutscene is essential. You can lose a couple of seconds each time a cutscene starts when you not know when a cutscene is about to start. So for example here, cutscene really starts pretty early before you leave this wall, it's around that edge you can see there. Like here, a uh, little bit more. I normally start at that edge to press skip. Also there's a second cutscene here when you leave this, so keep pressing skip. Also new cutscene here and we enter and get right after the loading screen another cutscene you want to skip. Also here's the cutscene walk possible, so press your direction before you actually leave the cutscene. Okay, if you enter this, you want to in the first few seconds maybe walk and not dash since the first first few seconds tend to lag, at least at my PC. After the game loaded itself, you can start dashing. Keep straight lines as far as possible by um, keeping your camera at the right angle. Um, so you can dash forward. You may have noticed at the end of a dash, I'll start over from here, I shrink. There's a reason for me to shrink. I can show here. If I dash at the end, Alice stands there for a second before she actually turns directions. And this little time gap is... It's not much, but it... It will become much if it does it every time. You can stop her from stopping there by shrinking at the end. Uh, that little time will decrease by a tiny bit. It's not much, but it's worth it. Because it costs no if effort to actually do it. So after each dash, if you change direction, always shrink. Um, here's something I just did and didn't even think about it. Here is always a jump dash, like you jump and dash at the highest point of your jump. Or immediately, doesn't matter. In this case, at least. Oh, oh wow, this trigger is... Cancelled? <laughs> nice, I just learned something new. The trigger is cancelled if you reach the other side and haven't activated it. <laughs> Good to know. Um, this little route, by the way, it saves enough 
not really anything, just a little bit. That's like the casual, you go up here and from here over, but it's not needed, you can just jump up by one jump and one air jump. Okay, here, there's a pretty big wall on the right, I can show you. Those lines are called wireframes. You can activate them by activating the debug mode. It's something you can do on most Unreal engines. Um, the pink lines or rose lines symbolize the walls. So I want to go around the walls on the right side, else I would get stuck. Start on the top floor and do really slow jumping. And fail it. Wow. It's been quite a while since I failed that one. Let's see if I can get up there again. Could be close. Oh, that is possible. I'm not warmed up yet. Um, I'm trying, trying to do the glitch jump here, I'll explain that later, when we actually need it. Oh, but Alice refuses to. Okay, debug mode, I fly up. Okay, so again. Jump far around the wall and don't hit it. Normally you can get exactly on this mushroom spring. It saves just a little time as well. Also you want to get on top of this one. Again, on the highest point you jump and dash forward to get in here. Here you dash forward to the teeth, drink at the edge. Uh, the shrink at the ed edge is actually important. Um, if you shrink after after dashing to an edge, normally you can't fall down while dashing into an edge. But if you shrink, you will fall down. So you shrink there because you want to fall down. Then dash backwards and shrink into this keyhole. Out of here, it's just normal dashing, shrinking at the end. Always the same tricks, dashing forward and to angle change, you shrink at the end. Okay, I'll show here the the easier, easier of the tricks and I'll enable the lines for it. Um, the lines can be a, a little bit distracting, you will get used to it very soon. Or very fast if you run this. Um, on a slide you normally can't jump but you can jump if you edge jump we call it so I go into the wall then I can jump and I go all around there. I float up again and show you a little bit slower. Uh, let's start all over there. Okay, so you go down here. Here are three teeth. I go to the right on the right side of the uh, railing at around the second teeth. All, all up to the right as far as possible and then back left. You can see my inputs on the bottom right, so you can just go back and watch my input at that point. And then I press jump at the very moment she leaves the rail. It will take some effort to learn the timing, but we call it edge jump. You will remain your speed and get an extra jump. So I jump to the tree here, the tree, yes, or in the direction of the tree and go in between of these two green boxes. There's one on the bottom. It's those two lines here. These two, it's the bottom box. This box uh, is uh, death barrier. If you hit it, you die. Also on the top, it's the same thing. 
box is a little bit bigger as you can see and it's some kind of odd in there uh, you want to go in between of those and hit this pink wall here this huge pink wall you will automatically hit it you just bounce against it and fall down you will have used two jumps up onto this point you use your third jump to get back onto the slide um, you can have while jumping three air jumps including to the one you do from the ground like one one two three in the air and then you fall in between every air jump you can float load time will decrease for every fl for every jump you do in the air let's see if i can get rid of these lines no i can't okay sorry i can't turn them completely off there's also a fourth jump we will talk about it as soon as we need it so after gaining the knife that's around here you dash just forward to the things since we're on ng plus we have the teapot you want to shoot at this trunk destroy all of them and dash forward again that's a pretty smooth thing also after this cutscene skip it and shoot immediately at the thing So these things everyone does it different but since I have time I just kill them from close up and go on within the time the cutsy needs to load. There was again that little trick of jump, uh, jumping off the mushroom springs. You jump onto them and on the top you jump and dash immediately. That's that gives you a faster recovery and you can go on faster. Okay, here's something I I can't say for sure I can get it this time. I have only one try. This is a really close trick. And I'm not sure how fast I have to be away. This green barrier is not a death barrier as most other big green boxes. This is a trigger. It's a cutscene or Normally it's a cutscene trigger, in this occasion it's a tutorial trigger. It also can just trigger some sounds or anything else. You will know once you touch it. Uh, if I get into it, the tutorial will trigger and Alice will retain her movement for some time. It's the time that little tutorial box needs to get up. So we can uh, use that for our advantage. I just dash into it. And it worked. As you may have seen, Alice traveled quite some distance. And after the tutorial, I get all my jumps in the air restored. So cutscenes and tutorial boxes restore your jumps in the air. You can dash and jump after the dashes. Normally you can't. If I dash, you can watch my controller. I'll jump and dash and then I can't jump in the air anymore until I land. That's different if um, you get a cutscene or a tutorial in between. So getting rid of these lines again, is it better now? Oh, not much. So casual route is down to the right and then up and then left. But you can go around here, just three slow jumps. Um, there's there's a difference between the jumpings I have mentioned. You can to you can do two different jumps. One is the flat jump. I just did. I'll do it again. I'll jump to the down there with flat jumps. As you can see, Alice does not gain any height after each jump. It just uh, is pretty plain in the air and doesn't really move up or down that's a jump you do not want to have never or nearly never there's very few occasions you need it you gain those flat jumps 